collaborate of our work is uh, it's when multiple people get together um, and pool their collective inspiration into one singular, or I guess several um, pieces that come all come together. Well, it's a lot of it is uh, getting to know the other people, getting to know the other people and kind of figuring out how all of the pieces might flow together. My name is Nathan Greenroad. A little bit of charcoal, a little bit of pastel, but well, I had worked almost entirely in pencil. Sketching, it was like my big thing. Like my paintings take on a very similar style to the way I sketch. I have never worked on a collaborative painting before, ever. Uh, my name's Nathan McClun. I've done a lot of work with color pencil and watercolors before. I really also like using um, Black India ink. I usually incorporate that with other mediums. I like to use a lot of anthropomorphology, making things as surreal and interesting as possible. And this is my very first collaboration project. My name is Danielle Tiederman. It's more like kind of stream of consciousness, surrealism kind of line work with the microns that I like to do. Be using old textbooks. Um, I've got some from old garage sales and whatnot. I kind of do a lot of drawing and illustration inside of those books on the pages. This is actually gonna be my first real experience of collaborating with other artists. So I'm really excited for it. So, okay, uh, collaborative work is gonna be different for each person involved too. You know, you might have one person who's intensely good at brainstorming ideas uh, while another will actually be able to pick out the good ideas and and see how everything's going to work. So do we want to talk about colors? So I'm kind of thinking, You're thinking maybe like, one of his creature type colors. I mean like I usually have like a central yeah, uh, I mean, So okay, we want you're, to you're comfortable with sketch style or just kind of a free form or whatever. Having ideas, but I don't know about how do you like about people just drawing characters. Where we yeah. well, or it's kind of going to be themed with that before I do yeah. specific elements that we want to kind of do. Because if we're doing collaboration, we should have The idea was pretty just out of nowhere. Um, we just started with several thumbnails of just kind of our ideas and figuring out what each of our strengths were in a way. It was kind of one of those things where it's, it was a total brainstorming session. We just throw things out there and whatever is stuck to the wall. Nathan and I kind of just went with it at the beginning and Danielle kind of had to like hold us back a little bit. We looked at all the elements that we uh, were good at and so we all just kind of expanded on that, um, sketched some ideas and then threw it on the canvas this morning. doing what we like to do so we uh, we looked at each other's work we said that's cool do that um, and that's pretty much what we're doing basically the approach that we had was kind of an atmospheric perspective type of deal just because you know there's like foreground midground background and it was easier to break it down that way because there's three of us I'm drawing a monster like I usually do um, Danielle's doing some typography and collage work, and Nathan is working on the, uh, the environment. Mine was kind of like a tag-on idea toward the end. The monster and the tree were the main focus, and then the cityscape was kind of a, a bookend to the whole thing. I was working with people that I had only met once before, so it's kind of tricky just kind of jumping in with people with their different styles, and yeah, I just, I don't know, you try not to kind of like work over other people's stuff and whatnot, but you know, it's kind of hard sometimes.
I felt out, out of my element because I was in my own head. The thing that brought me out of my own head while I was working in the group, um, there was no one thing that did it. It was, the, it was a process. I didn't expect to get inspiration out of this necessarily. This was my first serious collaboration, so uh, I guess I learned how to collaborate better. This is definitely something, uh, if I have the time, I would like to do again um, with a different group of people just, you know, to see contrasting styles and everything. Um, I really feel like I, I took away a great experience of just you know, understanding like what it's like to really get together with a couple of other artists and really get pushed out of your comfort zone because, you know, you're working with people with completely different styles. You've never worked with them before or seen their artwork. So suddenly you're kind of just thrown into this and just trying to see like how it fits together, if it fits together. I think one of the strongest things about this piece is that like, the styles are also polarized. Um, and so you can really see like who worked on what, but I also think they uh, kind of come together. Working on this project has given me definitely a new appreciation for collaboration art because you see, you know, all the time, you know, this is painting or whatever is by this artist and this artist and you don't really think about like how they have to really push their ideas together and work in a way to where they're not working against each other. So it was almost a, a mental exercise. It was like finding my my zen and realizing that it's it's all good. These are cool people. We're just working on this project and there's there are things that I can learn.